In grade 12 analytical geometry, we have established that the equation of a circle center A, B and radius R is R squared equals X minus A all squared plus Y minus B all squared. We also know that a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius of the circle at the point of contact. We have used this information to find the equation of a tangent to a circle. Now we are going to solve an example that requires us to find the length of a tangent to a circle from a given point to the point of contact with a circle. Example 1. Finding the length of a tangent to a circle. Determine the length of the section of the tangent drawn from 6, negative 2 to the point of contact with the circle with the equation given here. So the tangent is drawn from 6, negative 2 to the point of contact with a circle. The circle has the equation x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 2y plus 8 equals 0. So far, all we know is a point on the tangent and the equation for the circle. We need to find the center of the circle before we can make a rough sketch of the circle. Sometimes we have to take one step and then return to the question with our new information to see what we can do next. We can find the center of the circle and the radius by completing the square using the circle's equation. Complete the square on the equation. The x's and y's are already together and we just need to subtract 8 from both sides. Add half of the coefficient of the x value and square it. We also add half of the coefficient of the y value and square it. But we must add these values to the other side of the equation as well. Then simplify. We get x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1. On the other side of the equation, we get negative 8 plus 9 plus 1, which is 2. The two trinomials can now be factorized to get x minus 3 all squared plus y plus 1 all squared equal to 2. So the center point has the coordinates 3, negative 1. The radius is the square root of 2. Now that we know the center's coordinates, we can sketch a diagram and see what to do next. We can label the center O and place it at point 3, negative 1, on the Cartesian plane. The point 6, negative 2, is on the tangent. We can label it A. Label the point of contact between the circle and the tangent B. Look at the diagram. Look at the question again. You can see how our initial sketch has changed as we have found out more information. Now you can see that the distance asked for is AB. Look at triangle OAB. It is right angled because the tangent is perpendicular to the radius. We know that OB is the square root of two units. If we can first find the length of OA, we can use Pythagoras to find the length of AB. Substitute point O3, negative 1, and A6, negative 2, into the distance formula. Simplify and get an answer of square root of 10. Now use the theorem of Pythagoras to calculate AB. Radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. You get AB squared equals 10 minus 2, which is 8. So AB will be the square root of 8 in simplified third form. This is 2 times the square root of 2.